Welcome back to another episode. So, the steering is kind of part way there. You can see I've got the rack in uh, here. I've added some extra bracing across here and around the front. And then there's another brace that comes up and across to the body, across here and then down. I've added some UJs on the steering, but the steering is a bit too far away from Maddy and it's a little bit too high up. So I need to remake that joint there and also make the tube longer because it has quite a lot of play at the moment because it's only on a single mount. So I need to either have a long tube or two separate mounts. Um, but yeah, that went reasonably well. Got it in there, there's still enough room for the engine. Uh, I tried a different way to do the throttle using a skateboard radio controller. Um, but I think it's all got a bit messy. So it pulls the trigger like a fly-by-wire throttle, I suppose, but it's just overly complicated for what it needs to do. So I'm looking at getting rid of most of this stuff and simplifying it. So this is the speed control that is in the Ferrari. This was the case that I cut off of it. Uh, it did have a heat sink. But I put the water transfer plate on there. It came with a flyer uh, programming card, which makes me think that our snake or our mamba are rebranding things. <coughs> this was another speed control that was supposed to be really good that I bought, and then I looked at the components and the physical size and thought, mm, it's not really, not really good enough. Uh, so. I bought one of these. This is a Benjamin Vedder based VESC made because it's an open source project. Uh, this is made by Flipsky or Flipsky. These were quite expensive. I think they were about £250 when I first started doing the Ferrari. They're already down to 100 and they come in this really good CNC machined uh, heatsink stroke waterproof case. Got a nice cover for the the extra connections that go on here. This can run um, direct to a throttle pot. So I've got my usual RS pot that I use here. And that's gonna be easier for a throttle pedal for me because I need to run a cable for the engine as well. Um, the other good thing is it comes with an anti-spark on off switch which was in the side here, but I've put it on an extension cable so I can get it to the dashboard. Um, and I've just got it on this test rig with uh, the same sort of motor that's in the Ferrari. This is a 65, 74, so 75 mil long, 65 diameter brushless motor, which again, I bought a pair of these on eBay and they were pretty cheap. Uh, it's what most people seem to use for skateboards, which is what this was developed for. So this uses, a, I think it's a field operating current for motor control, so it makes them much talkier, low down, uh, especially for skateboards. Um, so most skateboards will run sort of 40 miles an hour with one of these motors and uh, pull really good torque up hills and things with a kind of 80 kilo rider on. So it's an ideal sort of setup for a kid's car, really. You don't have to run big batteries. This is 10 cell, two five cell lithium packs. Um, but yeah, you could run just a single five cell, single four cell if you didn't want it going too fast. Uh, and this comes with software uh, which is the VESC tool, which is again a Benjamin Vedder uh, tool, and that basically goes through your motor setups. It will actually uh, automatically set up the motor for an FOC type control, and then you can set up the input as to whether you're running a throttle pot like this. This is a plunger pot 
or I've got a Hall of X throttle there, which it'll work with directly as well. That's just a bit more difficult to work with the Ferrari. And it's a bit bulky, but it was just something I'd got on eBay. Um, so yeah, that is it. Uh, so next job, I'll just show you this spinning up. Next job is to slow. Uh, next job is to get this fitted to the car. Um, been a bit slow this week because Scarlett's been in hospital with a cystic fibrosis so uh, this is more of an update video rather than a, a functional doing things video. Uh, anyway thanks for watching drop me a message if you need to know anything about this you can find these on eBay uh, and also Flip Ski, Flip Sky also do a 65-74 motor to go with this, which is, I think this is about £100 now. The motor's about 60 Uh That is it for today. Thank you for watching.